Hi, Selena. Hi. <laughs> this is our vampire facial prep. How have your results been, though? Good. Um, I've had so many compliments your on my skin. skin. So good. Yeah, for not bad. <gasps> Go ahead and bend your elbow. Okay. Good. And just leave it like that. Okay. Okay. And now all I have to do is spin it. We're done. Sweet. That was easy. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is the PRP. This just went through the centrifuge, which now separated the plasma and the blood and platelets. And so right at this junction of the red and the yellow, the serum up here, there's some special cells that are kind of the closest thing you can get to stem cells um, without going into the stem. And um, yeah, that we can put into Tish's skin and give her awesome collagen and elastin boost with the microneedling. You have me off retinal right now. Yes. Yeah. So what are you doing now, Amy? I am applying your numbing cream so that the treatment is just going to be nice and comfortable. You'll feel a little bit of a vibration really, but um, it, it's not too bad with the numbing cream actually, which is nice. And I'm just kind of massaging the numbing cream into your skin so that it really penetrates well. And then we're going to cover your skin with saran wrap and that just helps to occlude the numbing cream uh, helps it to penetrate so that your treatment is comfortable so with your micro needling the reason that we are essentially creating tiny little wounds or channels is in order for us to build collagen we really need to stimulate the wound healing response so we're creating tiny micro channels to actually stimulate the wound healing response, which in turn your skin is going to produce collagen to heal. So there is um, a little bit of a controlled wound that is going to allow your skin to heal itself smoother, tighter, firmer, stronger, etc. So it's actually benefiting your skin. Right. So in order to get you nice and numb, we kind of apply this numbing about a centimeter past our treatment sites. Yeah, that's really close to the eye. Yeah. yeah. And then close your eyes for me. But we can treat fairly close to the eye and it's really great for thickening up tissue where, you know, it starts to thin. Some of the first signs, beginning signs of aging are just thinning skin around the eyes. Our skin's actually about 10 times thinner there than the rest of the face. so it's um, it's important not to leave it out. So we treat a little bit more shallow around this area, um, but we get right in there because it's it's an area that we all want some smoothing and firming, right? Do you like eye cream, Amy? I love eye cream. I love all things skincare. And it, do you think it's something that actually is beneficial? I eye do. cream, yeah. I do. Um, for anyone who is you know, under 30 and kind of just starting out with skincare products, using your face cream close to the eyes is appropriate. Mm -hmm. But because the skin is so different here and so much thinner, it, it does have a hard time actually handling some of the retinols and, and products that we put on the rest of the face. Okay. So your eye creams are designed specifically for that really delicate area. Um, and they're designed to help brighten to reduce dark circles. A lot of them will contain little bits of retinol, which you know is great for building collagen, but a lower percentage than 
what we put on the rest of the face. I didn't realize they would help with circle, dark circles. Yeah, so some have a little bit of um, caffeine and things that help mm. to brighten. I think our best eye cream is the Vivier de Grenzi. Okay. So it contains those polyamines, which actually help to thicken skin. And you put it on at night? Yes. yes. Anything that is you know, high in growth factors, anything that's anti-aging, specifically you want to use when you're sleeping. Um, if you put it on before bed, when your body is resting is when it can more readily build those types of things. In the morning, we focus a little bit more on your cleansing, your exfoliating, your vitamin C serums, your sun protecting agents. In the evening is when you want to apply your, your more heavy collagen building ingredients. It all makes a difference. I think you have to consider that, you know, these medical grade products, they do make a big difference. Yes. So if you're gonna invest in a treatment such as the Vampire Facial, things that are gonna be beneficial because we're creating tiny little micro channels. Everything you apply the next you know, 24 hours is gonna penetrate really deep, um, which is why we have you using your growth factors when you leave. And vitamin C is great to apply post Microneedling or vampire facial, it really helps to brighten and protect your skin from the sun. So I would put that on tomorrow morning. Exactly. Yes. have a little nap actually yeah yeah be nice to see the lights out so you can see your little nap yes exactly hi guys so we are now just removing the numbing cream off of tisha's skin uh, getting her all prepped to actually start the treatment so we're going to wash her skin we want to make sure that we really cleanse good remove the numbing cream because we want the PRP to actually penetrate into her skin. So we're gonna do a good cleanse here. How is everything feeling? Are you nice and numb? Mm, oh wow, yes, am I ever. Good. Yeah. Um, so we do numb everyone prior to our vampire facials just so that it's a comfortable treatment for you. Um, so Tish had a little nap, she had a little rest. While she was numbing, you kinda get to just have a little lay down. And now her treatment is just gonna be Easy peasy. Okay, so we're gonna rinse your skin now. Make sure all this cleanser's off. And um, for Tish, we're actually treating her neck as well. So this treatment can be done, you know, on the body for something like scarring, but we, we like to treat the neck too. We don't wanna leave that out. Well, the neck definitely shows people's age if you don't treat it, right? It does. And it's, you know, the skin's a little bit thinner even than the face. We're not as good as being diligent with applying sunscreen, I find, to the neck. Once right. you have a good skincare routine, it's getting on your face every day. Your neck is usually exposed. We're not usually wearing turtlenecks, so it, it does get more damage. It's important to add the neck in. Otherwise, what happens is it starts to look different than the face. Now we're just gonna do a passive alcohol just to ensure your skin is clean and then we're gonna get started. I don't like this. Stinky. Yeah. Just a little bit stinky. Yes. Okay. So yeah, it's just a little bit stinky, kind of a strong scent yeah. to have on your face. And what does that do? Just uh, cleaning your skin so you're nice and sterile now because okay. we don't want any bacteria because we're opening, we're creating tiny little holes. So it's important that your skin's clean. Alcohol is also great for degreasing, so it's really kind of removing oil from the pores. Again, we want this PRP to penetrate into your skin. And ladies and gentlemen, Amy is the best. Aw, 
Um, she's not only sweet, but she knows her stuff. She's super educated and teaches you as you go, which for me, I really appreciate. So Amy yeah. at Glow is amazing. I love her. Thanks, girl. You're welcome. So this is what our PRP looks like. Um, so we refer to this as liquid gold. So prior to starting, um, we, we drew Tish's blood. It was put in a centrifuge to actually separate out the red and white blood cells. This PRP sits in the middle, so we harvest it. Um, this is super high in growth factors. So this really amps up the microneedling. You're gonna get even more collagen production. So microneedling is awesome for anyone with acne scarring, anyone who wants to shrink pores. But when we add the PRP and do a true vampire facial, you're gonna get more anti-aging benefits, more firming of the skin, just more collagen build, which we all want. So throughout the treatment, we're gonna, this is not a syringe, but we're just applying a little bit to the skin and we're microneedling it in. So we are gonna start here, okay? okay? So, how does this feel for you? Fine, what? like barely anything. So you will feel a little bit of a vibration. You'll feel the pressure. It doesn't feel sharp. You don't feel the the, the micro needling much with the numbing. No. Um, you'll start to notice pinpoint bleeding in some areas which is our goal. This is a great end point. I think, you know, some, this really is a corrective treatment. So it's not necessarily preventing okay. aging. You're, you're still gonna age and you're still getting sun exposure. Um, things that are preventative that you really benefit from starting young are, you know, your, your products, wearing sunscreen, um, just protecting your skin from external aggravators. So things right. like pollution, the sun, cigarette smoke, high energy rays. So with all the technology that we have in the world now, cell phones, laptops, hair dryers, all these things emit energy that's actually hard on your skin. It's damaging and it breaks down collagen. So um, antioxidants, sunblocks are very important to prevent. This is considered a corrective treatment. However, if you continue to just kind of maintain your skin and do a few treatments per year, you're gonna find that it's really not gonna appear to be aging. And how often should someone do this? Like I came back, I came and did this about five weeks ago. Is that sort of normal to do that or? Yeah, four to six weeks apart is great. Um, and we want to do a third session. So you actually want to do three sessions okay. to see a nice change. After that, if you come in you know, seasonally for a treatment, spring, okay. summer, fall, winter, it's going to maintain those results. If you wait a full year, by the time you come back, you almost need to do a series of three again. Okay. So the skin starts to look a little bit more drab. Whereas if you do maintenance treatments, it's gonna look nice throughout the year, it'll consistently glow. And that's kind of where you get your prevention if you just keep up with it. Um, this really is referred to as collagen induction therapy. So after- Are you, do, are you doing it thicker this time or more intensely this time? It's, it's actually very similar each time you come in. The okay. treatment's about the same, yeah. So you're gonna have you know, the same downtime, you're gonna leave obviously with this on your skin. Mm -hmm. So after your vampire facial, you don't wanna go back to work, you don't wanna do anything important, um, but tomorrow you can wash your skin and a lot of the dried blood will just rinse off and you'll just be pink. You'll look like as if you've had a sunburn. And then after 24 hours, you can apply products and, and sunblock and makeup if you wish. And what is the best if you want the best results how long should you really wait to put makeup on um, we ask for 48 hours okay. and that's because you know everything that we say we are extra cautious 
the reason that we state that is you know there is tiny little holes in your skin that we're creating so you don't really want makeup to get trapped in your skin right, right. that could cause some congestion yeah you just want to keep your skin clean so you don't really have to do anything um, we're gonna send you home with some extra PRP so tonight if you want to just rinse with some water add your PRP and just wait till tomorrow and um, it really do doesn't uh, feel like anything it looks way worse than it feels yeah it's not too bad no not with the numbing cream I'm sure without the numbing cream this would be awful I think so yeah <laughs> yeah yeah definitely want to go home right after this. <laughs> Scare people otherwise. Don't go on a first date after no. this. Get it, Amy. Get it. Get in That looks weird. How's your neck feeling? Fine. Good. I find neck is like less sensitive than the face. Yeah. Nothing oh, too bad. So it's a nice add on. And you're gonna go through this downtime anyway. So if you're considering neck, you do it at the same time. Right. Sure is. So the blood is it literally my blood that you have like made through the needling. Yes. Yes. So the red color that is from the treatment. Your skin bleeds. And now that there's all these little channels, micro openings, we're gonna add more PRP and we're massaging it in. Okay. You're not very gentle. You don't have to be. No. no. Don't we want to get it right in there? And again, there's no, um, we did, haven't just put Botox or filler in. This is all natural growth factors from your body. So this is a great option too for someone who either is nervous of filler or who just would prefer something, you know, more natural. Mm -hmm. stings a bit you're gonna start to as the numbing cream starts to wear off it's a little bit stingy mm -hmm. um, we say stingly so a little sting yeah. and a little tingle yeah tolerable though oh yeah it's not terrible no Is there anything you want else you want to add, Amy? Um, so because you can't put sunscreen on immediately, I really just want to, to kind of, you know, go home. There's there's really the first 24 hours you have to avoid a lot of exposure, which is important to know this time of year. Um, so stay out of the sun tomorrow too. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's gonna rain anyways. Okay, right, perfect. <laughs> So that makes it a bit easier. You know, to be honest with how your skin feels, you, I'm sure you just, you automatically, you're instinctually wanting to run out of the heat. You want to stay away from anything because it's quite warm. Yeah. So yeah. no really intense workouts, miss. Oh yeah. So that was another thing. Can I work out tomorrow? Like you could do a light workout. I don't want you sweating too much as Okay. All. Okay. That can just um, reopen these little holes. Okay. And can be irritating if you get too warm so you could do right. something light okay like a lift maybe yeah. not a sweat session exactly yeah um, and for
48 hours for that. Okay. So I can go biking on Saturday and that will be fine. Yes. Yeah. The sunblock. Yes. I've got my Vivier sunscreen that you recommended. Good. Yeah, so your vitamin C serum and your sunblock after is going to protect your skin from the sun this summer. I do like that Vivier sunscreen. That's it beautiful. is nice. Yeah. 